Happy people there. Well, now on to tonight's contenders. Two more projects going head to head, appealing for your votes and funding from money raised by the big lottery for good causes. There will also be a bonus award for the runner up with the highest number of votes. We'll give you the numbers to vote for after the two films. First up today is the Unity Centre in Lowestoft. They would like to offer more activities for people with learning difficulties. We're a centre for people with mild to moderate learning difficulties, the ones that are in the community that feel like they just don't fit in anywhere. They haven't got severe learning difficulties, so they don't qualify for any kind of personal payment, they need direct payments or anything like that. So they just can't join in with local activities. We provide lots of activities where they can come for free. They don't have to pay to join in anything at all. We have arts and crafts, we have computers, uh, tabletop games, we have uh, trading card games. Oh, That's very important because um, uh, that helps me get my confidence back. We have all different disabilities. Some, some are invisible and you can't see and some that you can see. So uh, it's very important that we both mix in together and support one another. So. Wonderful. Well, as a start. As a start. Yeah. There's nowhere else for them to go. Everywhere they go is structured and very ordered where they can come in here if... If they don't want to paint or they don't want to do the storytelling, they can sit and they can chat. It gives them somewhere to go as well as us, as the volunteers to go as well. You meet all the public and they're integrating then. Tell stories to all sorts. We're going to be spending the money on an interactive whiteboard and on computers. We're going to be needing new kitchen equipment so we can run a more efficient kitchen. And we also need running costs for a year. <laughs> And up against them is Norfolk County Council. Yeah, they want to improve the Marriott's Way foot and cycle path. We're stood on the Marriott's Way currently. It is the hidden gem of Norwich. Come down, have a go. Have, you can walk, you can cycle, you can do anything you want on the Marriott's Way. It's absolutely fantastic. It goes from Aylsham and takes you right the way into the heart of Norwich. It's the longest disused railway line anywhere in the country that's used for this. And, you know, it's just a fantastic place to come. So all this leaflet is getting broken down. I like going here in winter because after it's been snowing, it looks amazing. It looks like a winter wonderland or frozen. I like it because it's fun and peaceful for my li me and my little brother Ben to play on our bikes. There's no cars and you can play about and there's lots of nature to see and there's a park so you can go and play on the park as well. A lot of our children live in this area and I'm trying to engage them in the community because this is where they're going to grow up. A lot of them might stay here forever. I want them to feel that they own it because if they feel they own it, then hopefully they'll all take care of it and we can enjoy it. The wonderful green lung that comes into the city. Ministry of Funny Walk. What we're trying to do is to get the funding to make a real difference to people's lives. This funding will help more school groups come out, help more people come out and use the trail through better signage, better educational packages and a whole range of community events. Well, here is your chance to vote for the project you would like to see get the money. Now,